What's up, guys and gals? Let's review episode three of One Division. Let's start with the first low, and my only low is pretty much similar to last week's low, and I feel pretty rewarded in this episode. Now, like I said, I enjoyed the sitcom attempt to tell the storyline, but I truly felt that they really need to keep up to build up the pace on the uh, on the series because I felt like episode one and two could have been condensed into uh, one episode, and here. Episode two could have been what we'll be getting here in episode three. At least keep it things interesting as we go further. Now, I know this starts to feel more like in the scenario of a slow burn. I personally am not against the slow burn. It's just that I feel that that as someone who is deep with the Marvel characters in the comics, I'm more invested. But as someone who's, like I said in last week's episode, two premiere episodes, uh, it's a big commitment. And with no, with very little payoff until we get the payoff in this episode, I felt, I don't think that uh, casual viewers are actually going to uh, stick it out for all the way to the end. Let's start with the first high and the scenarios. As you guys were, remember when we last left off uh, in episode two, where Wanda is pregnant and we're moving to color. And I really like the fact that it's just going to the 70s sitcom, you know, the Brady Bunch, the Partridge family, all that all that stuff with the uh, grooviness, the hippiness, or uh, the time of Nixon, all that stuff. The the fake uh, ground, especially with the scenario involving with the twins. Uh, she, since uh, Wanda's glowing, uh, she's due to be pregnant uh, much rapidly right than the usual nine-month scenario. And it was a lot of shenanigans, especially with uh, Wanda's powers in constant flux, you know, uh, with the baby coming in, you know, Vision kind of freaking out, and the big reveal in the out. It's a scenario that I thought, that this could, like I said, could have been done in episode two. Get me all all curious and excited to see where, where we're going. And and that's one of the fun times, because I, I liked the jokes that they had. There was a lot of humor there. There's... Also, you know, fun stuff to, you know, to dive into into this episode, like pretty much in episodes one and two. But that's it. My next high is Vision. Uh, <laughs> I think Vision was technically the focus of this episode as he basically starts asking questions, especially to the doctor, because nothing makes real sense. Because, uh, as you know, since Vision is an android, everything's logical with him. And he starts to feel the question. This doesn't make sense. Uh, she was just pregnant just a few hours ago. Now she's this way. This is this. This is this. this. And him becoming a warrior first time father, which is very uh, natural for him as he becomes more and more human. And I love, like that uh, progression uh, in his character as he tries to learn to become what it means to be a human. And I thought that was great. Paul Bunyan did it barely. It was very fun, you know, especially his interaction with Wanda, you know, when he sees the twins and all that, you know, becoming the father. I got kicked out of it. Next is Wanda. Like I said, I really like... Wanda, in this episode, Wanda's pretty much uh, dealing with the shenanigans of her powers going out of flux. Uh, and mostly due to because I'm assuming because of the baby. Uh, as you guys know, it's probably most likely Wiccan that's causing these all, all, her powers to go out of flux. Uh, but I really liked uh, the whole scenario that led up to the big reveal in the episode of Wanda and Monica and Bill's character. And holy freaking crap, I gotta give mad props to, to Elizabeth Olsen. Oh my god, you, this was almost worth me putting up the, the first two episodes to get this, like I said, almost. And the fact that you got that, that nice twist turn, like you guys remember Endgame where you saw pretty much the darkness inside of Wanda when she faced down. I was like, you took everything from me! And we got a little bit of here again, and holy crap, you got creep vibes from, uh, from Elizabeth Olsen. And that's mad props to her in, in this episode. Next high, the big reveal. Now, the rest of this reveal is going to be very spoilers, and I hope you guys are fully prepared when you watch this, uh, watch episode two before you actually dive into the rest of my thoughts on this review. So let's dive in. The big reveal. Like, it's almost, I would say, a worth it payoff, but I already knew what, what we were expecting, so it's kind of like, uh, interesting, but at the same time, um, it could be a lot more. But like I said, the, the big reveal ties into basically Monica Rambeau and the rest of the townspeople. Now, the, the townspeople were hinting that uh, Monica Rambeau's character, which I forgot the alias that she's going by in in the town of Westview, is saying that she doesn't really belong here, she doesn't really have a home, and that's as a bit more of the mystery. 
And then, like I said, the creepiness of Wanda uh, is fully f fully displayed, at least hinted at before we start to see the cracks for Wanda goes basically uh, full uh, crazy on us. Uh, when Monica basically kind of uh, talks to Wanda and reveals about Pedro being killed by Ultron, and she's like, who are you? Why are you here? Uh, and then basically what she did was basically kicked her out. <laughs> And then we find out that, well, basically, uh, we have all these people, uh, doctors, well, let's say staff, they're kind of very similar to uh, Thor, the first Thor movie, where basically they had all these uh, compound equipment surrounding uh, Molnir. So it seems like there's a big barrier surrounding uh, the, the whole town or a small area where one is pretty much uh, causing her, her magics. And that is something that I think, like I said, would have been a bit more worth it in the end if they had uh, put this in episode two instead of uh, expecting us to um, to follow up in episode three. Like I said, I think the slow burn is kind of hurting the show a bit, in my opinion. But I still got a kick out of the, the big reveal. Next high is the Easter eggs. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find anything that I was quite familiar with the, with the... But this episode to find what what could be a big reveal or something hinting to something later on besides uh wanda uh starting to show the cracks of going crazy and basically monica getting kicked out of wanda's world but there were wasn't because the opening did show a little bit like hackagon and then you had the most recent commercial which talked to, once again talk about hydra and soak now i had three about this and assuming that sh she's being uh sedated in a Possibly in a tank or something because we've seen this many times before um, in the whole superhero comic book situation where uh, our characters are in a dream sequence and then we find out they're in a some sort of lab, something like that. So we don't know exactly what that reveals. Now, the whole Exagon Gene office, I believe some people have been saying that uh, it could be tied to AIM, but I don't think that's the case considering that. AIM was introduced in Iron Man 3, and they weren't actually well utilized uh, ever since since that last movie. And I don't see them. And I still see Hydra playing a much larger role in this. Maybe they uh, allow us to lie themselves with Mephisto. That's always that's been the, the big question of the day. Uh, if Mephisto is the mastermind behind all this, or is Mephisto actually working with Hydra, or Hydra working with Mephisto? That's a lot of, a lot of theories that could be... Uh, sprinkle in i couldn't find anything else i mean we had the situation with um with the stork uh i know this plan is because you know wanda's powers are in flux and and most likely due to the fact that uh, the baby is becoming self-aware who knows where this how, how this will turn out um what else reveals well aside from the fact that we knew that the whole Xenia, the the beekeeper in his back uh with uh, Monica Rambeau's little pendant it shows the 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 Xenia uh sword so we you know sword is a factor in this they're trying to monitor Wanda or trying to get to Wanda to, to help her out that is something that seems to be in development but I'm hoping that we get uh more in episode 4 which now since we finally caught up with uh everyone else well, that concludes my review of episode 3 of WandaVision. Guys, I'm curious what you thought about this episode. Uh, let me know in the comment section. Also, guys, if you're curious about what reviews I make next, you know, subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget the bell icon to get notified. As always, thanks for watching this vid. I'll catch you guys in the next vid.